what do you think is the the kind of the tipping point threshold where you go from from a level of these apob containing lipoproteins that's not causing atherogenesis to where it's beginning to a lot depends on what other risk factors is present in you now if you had nothing else wrong with you but apob it would take longer than if you were a smoker who was a diabetic who was a hypertensive the short it'd be a much shorter time before you've got atherosclerotic plaque in your arteries so here's the levels in general if there are not a bunch of other risk factors of concern we like people to be in what's called the bottom 20th percentile population cut point in other words if we measured apob on every human on the planet let me see the people who have an ApoB concentration that is in the lower 20th percentile, and that would be 80 milligrams per deciliter. So in general, unless you do have a multitude of other factors, if you're running around with an ApoB of 80, that's probably fine. Uh, it's going to be a long time, and sooner or later you're going to eat wrong or start smoking or <laughs> secondary smoke. So that you don't want to. You want to be lower than the 20th percentile but that's on average. You never want to be much higher than that. You certainly don't want to be above the 80th percentile because that's, and that's like 115, 120 milligrams per deciliter. Those are the people who most commonly get atherosclerotic heart disease. Are there people with super high ApoB who don't seem to get atherosclerosis? Uh, it's the biggest risk factor. It's causal. But yeah, there's always going to be an exception to the rule with human bodies. And what is preventing in my very small minority of people, horrendous ApoB causing, not causing atherosclerosis? Nobody knows. Uh, there must be other protective things going on. But nobody who's measuring their ApoB at age 30, 40 and says, oh, my ApoB is 140. I ain't worried about it because I'm good. I'm healthy. I can do 50 push-ups a day. I actually did a coronary calcium and there's no calcium. Well, that's good. You probably got another five, 10 years where nothing's going to happen to you. But if you're 30 and 40 and you want to see 90, I wouldn't go 50 years with an ApoB that's sky high because there would be zero data supporting that that is safe. 